Thank you very much. I'm making statements and you are to indicate if it is true or otherwise. And I'm starting from NIFA SHS. The equilibrium for a reaction at equilibrium, the amount of products will continue to increase. Come if you have an answer. Two minus one. Nkotia, for a reaction at equilibrium, the limiting reagent will be consumed. It's true. Gloria, minus one. St. Peter's. For a reaction at equilibrium, concentration of products will decrease due to the reverse step. Settle. False. That is correct. You know, for a reaction at equilibrium, the concentration of the product will not change. Yes, Obed. False. Obed, minus one. Nifa, an acid solution will always have a pOH less than seven. False. False. That is correct. Give your answer again. Nifa, give your answer again. False. All right. Nkwetia, the greater the number of replaceable protons, the higher the acidity. It's true. Gloria. Gloria, calm down. Calm down. Minus one. St. Peter's. The acidic solution will always have concentration of H3O plus ions greater than concentration of OH minus ions. Settle? True. That is correct. You know, acids with oxygen atoms are stronger than those without. Obed. False. You are right. Nifa. Colonial organisms are multicellular. False. Come again? False. That is correct. Nkwetia. The cell activities of colonial organisms are integrated. It's a true statement. You have been bailed out. And so I'll give it to St. Peter's. St. Peter's minus one. St. Peter's. Colonial organisms are a collection of different kind of cells. 
come. False. You are right this time. You know, colonial organisms cannot survive independently. Come, Obed. False. That is right. Difa. Preamble first. Indicate whether the following are true or false with respect to echinoderms. Nifa, they have a closed circulatory system. Speak. The master hear it. False. You have been bailed out. Is it, is it false. St. Peter's. False. That's correct. In Quetia, they respire through gills or cloacal respiratory tree. Clearly into the microphone. Minus one. St. Peter's. St. Peter's. They have a simple radial nervous system and excretory systems are absent. Settle. True. That is correct. You know, they have a poorly developed sense organ. Obed. True. That is correct. <laughs> Nifa. Every matrix has an inverse under addition. Come. False. Clearly into the microphone. False. Minus one. Nkwetia. Every matrix has an inverse under addition. It's true. Minus one. St. Peter's. That, that was not answered by Gloria. That was Prince. A matrix has an inverse if it is a square matrix. Come. False. That is correct. You know, a square matrix has an inverse if its determinant is zero. Obed. False. You are right. Nifa, mean deviation is a measure of location. True. True. Daniel, you are in the lion's den, minus one. Unquetia, standard deviation is a measure of spread of data. Let's hear you. Okay. It's a true statement. I appreciate the uncertainty with which that is coming. It's a glorious answer. You are right. St. <laughs> Peter's. St. Peter's. 
Interquartile range is a measure of dispersion. Settle. True. Thank you. <laughs> you know, median is a measure of central tendency. Obed. True. Thank you. <laughs> Preamble. An object. An object moves in a circle of fixed radius r at speed v. Now, Nifa, the component of the acceleration of the object that is normal to the circle has a magnitude equal to v squared divided by r. Thank you. Nkwetia, the component of the acceleration of the object that is normal to the circle increases the speed of the object. Who is coming? Let's hear you. It's a true statement. That is unfortunate. It's a false statement. St. Peter's, the component of the acceleration of the object that is normal to the circle decreases the speed of the object. Settle. False. That's correct. You know, the component of the acceleration of the object that is normal to the circle is directed towards the center of the circle. Oh, but is your hand up? Let's hear you then. False. Minus one. <laughs> Last set of statements in the round. Nifa, the work done by an ideal gas in an isobaric expansion is proportional to the pressure at which the expansion occurs. True. That is correct. Ngutia, the work done by an ideal gas in an isobaric expansion is proportional to the volume change in the expansion. It's true. Gloria, I am happy to say that it is correct. St. <laughs> Peter's. St. Peter's. The work done by an ideal gas in an isothermal expansion is proportional to the temperature at which the expansion occurs. Come. False. That is correct. You know, an ideal gas cannot do work on an isothermal expansion because internal energy remains constant. Robert. False. That is a correct answer. That brings us to the end of round three.